Advanced formulations such as biologics and mRNA are already starting to power the next generation of therapies. Typically, these are delivered through injection, but the pulmonary route also presents um, interesting opportunities. However, uh, to enable delivery through inhalation, um, advancements in the formulation side as well as on the device side are needed. TDP is working on both of those fronts. Today, I'm joined by Piyush and Justin, who will talk about our efforts on the formulation side. So the overall goal is to create a room temperature respirable mRNA therapy. Um, my role in the development is in droplet generation and drying process development. Um, to generate the respirable room temperature stable mRNA LNP powders, we can then enable respiratory delivery to the lungs um, with strong mucosal and systemic immunity. Using small droplets, we can have ultra-fast evaporation and we can also generate low-density powders for respiration using fast, controlled, scalable processes for rapid development. Delivering mRNA therapeutics directly into lungs can provide enhanced protection against respiratory infections and efficacious treatment for lung diseases. However, existing methods of direct lung delivery like nebulization are unsuitable for mRNA therapeutics as they damage these delicate drugs through high shear forces, and they require expensive nebulization devices. Furthermore, a significant limitation of mRNA therapeutics is a stringent cold chain requirement for their liquid formulations. The need for ultra-cold storage and transportation increases their cost, raises their risk of product degradation, and restricts accessibility in low- and middle-income countries. A dry powder formulation of these therapeutics could overcome these limitations. However, existing methods of dry powder formulation are often incompatible with mRNA therapeutics due to their vulnerability to damage due to uh, ice crystal formation, shear stresses, or thermal exposure during these processes. These methods could be time consuming and inefficient. Further, creating inhalable dry powder that requires precise control over particle properties presents even greater challenge. So we use a vacuum spray freeze drying process. We spray into vacuum creating micro droplets that undergo ultra fast millisecond freezing and rapid drying to form uh, microscopic particles with high surface area. Um, the key features are the gentle spray. So this avoids shear damage to the LNPs and the ultra fast cooling rates. By moving from centimeter scale lyophilization vials to micron sized droplets, we can reduce the time for freezing from hours to milliseconds. Rapid and complete moisture evaporation is also essential, and this is enabled by the poor small particle size and the porous structure. And finally, direct control of the critical parameters like droplet size, particle size, and particle porosity it enables control of the inhalation properties and the aerodynamic diameter. So there are several potential commercial and usability benefits of this technology. Firstly, it enables the inhaled delivery of uh, vaccines um, using low-cost TPIs. This also opens the door to intuitive self-administration at home, avoiding needle phobia, um, potentially increasing compliance and freeing up clinicians. Then um, generating powder formulation suitable for room temperature storage and transportation increases market access across uh, low and middle income countries. And lastly, the gentle nature of the process means greater efficacy leading to a reduction in dose and undesirable side effects.